after my first test, the first one didn't work all that well, so you're going to change the max view in the vertical to 30 and 19 and the, for, for this canvas and on the mixed reality toolkit once it's converted um, to 3 minimum 3.2 3.1 and the reason is you want the menu to move as little as possible because the headset it will get in the way so you want to just be able to barely touch it because when you're like running with it or something trying to chase the ghost like and it's too close like it's on, it's on the sides right here it will get in the way and you can't see the ghost and I also changed um, so when you make a mesh ghostable um, and then you say I want it invisible but I want it to follow the player which you know you put the follow component in then um, and turn off the boss collider it, it won't ghost it so you still want to render it but you have to make it transparent and in that transparency um, you can change uh, the alpha somewhere there it is. you can change this to zero 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 And transparent, and then it's invisible. So and then the, the ghost becomes, or the cube becomes invisible, and it's not, um, it doesn't block anything. Because when you're out there and there's like sun and stuff, it'll block the cube. So you won't be able to see it, you know, when you're trying to chase it or intercept it or whatever the case may be. So those are the two things that had to be changed. You know, you want to. So the menu just stays in view because if it's not it's going to get caught like you're going to be running and it's going to get in your face or whatever the box here is going to get in your face and then the ghost mesh has to be just a default mesh or just the default to be able to be seen so yeah that's it those are the changes to make it better